You are welcome to class. Today we are going to be seeing how to find the mean, the median, and the mode of a given set of numbers. So let's start with the mean. So let's say we are given two numbers, x and y, and we are asked to look for the mean. What we do simply is just to add those two numbers, then we divide by two. Okay, let's say again we are given three numbers, a, b, c. To find the mean, we say a plus b plus c divided by three. So right now, let's see example one. Calculate the mean of three, five, seven, two, one, and four. So we are just going to add up those numbers, then we divide by six, and we discover our mean is three point six six. Okay. Now let's move to the median. So median is the middle value after the given numbers has been rearranged in order of magnitude that is either in increasing or decreasing order. So from that example now, we are going to first rearrange the numbers in increasing order. So we have 1, 3, 4, 7, 8, 13 and 21 and we discover that our median is 7 that is the number at the middle. Okay, let's see another example. Find the median of 7, 1, 6, 3, 9, 4. Okay. Again, we have to rearrange. But in this example, there is no single number that is exactly at the middle. So the two numbers at the middle, we are going to add them. Then we divide by 2. Okay. Now let's move ahead to mode. So when we say mode, what are we talking about? The mode of a given set of data simply refer to that number that occurs the most. Okay, let's see with an example. Find the mode of the data 12, 4, 12, 7, 14, 9, 4, 12. So this time around, you don't need to either rearrange. You just write them and we discover that our mode is 12 because 12 appeared three times and that is the highest number there so let's see another example find the mode of one one four seven three four eight now if we see here we see two appear two times four appear two times so the mode is one and four meaning that we can have more than one number as the mode so let's see the range now so how the range is simply the highest value minus the lowest value from the given set of data so the highest value from that example is 7.9 and the lowest value is 1.7 so we just remove the lowest value from the highest value and we have gotten our range so we have some questions for you here they are quite straightforward to ensure you get everything correctly. Thank you.